Greetings and welcome to In the Margins, a multimedia project and Minecraft server. I am, as always, in my own world. Thank you for joining me here. My pronouns are they, them, and I have motor and vocal tics, so you will hear odd sounds from time to time. Today I am going to be showing you how to build the automatic sea pickle farm. This produces approximately three sea pickles for every piece of bone meal put into the dispensers. And we'll very quickly overload a, a single hopper. So if you have one hopper going in here and uh, two full dispensers of bone meal, it's going to be going too fast for the hopper. So to start building this, you need a 7x7 uh, space. It's actually a little bit larger, but to start you need a 7x7 seven seven space for the base. You want to fill it in with water. And the reason you fill it in with water is that you don't run into any problems with your live coral dying. Uh, the next layer, uh, you want to build up one layer. We'll want to put pistons on the sides over here. Coral in the center. You could place all coral down here, but the sea pickles will not grow in these corner spots. So to save, on the, to save your coral, you can place another block there blocks over here are going to be powering these pistons so they need to be solid blocks Good. you go up another layer and we're going to continue building up the exterior but we're also going to build in one row of glass here on each side and that's to cover up the hole that's left when the pistons are retracted Good. Uh, otherwise your sea pickles will end up sliding down here and you don't want that. Feed the dispensers facing inward into the center block. Squeak will be firing bone meal at your sea pickles. The next level up you do not uh, you only do the exterior you don't do these the interior you don't do that. Uh, and it's a good idea to fill in, well, not a good idea, it's required to fill in the, uh, all of, let's see here, there we go. You would fill in all of this with a temporary block. And the reason we do that is so that we can put down water and on top of it all and have it flow out the front. Now before we go and dig this up, uh, we'll want to place a sticky piston facing up. And the reason we do it before is because if there's any hole for the water to go into, the water uh, falls down there and doesn't update to continue coming over th that uh, the lip or whatever we're going to call it. I'm having difficulty with my words as usual, but hey, these are unscripted videos. What do you expect? These, we're also going to have solid blocks on top of the dispensers to activate the dispensers. This is most of the farm. Now all that's left is the redstone. So we're going to dig out the sand, my temporary block. Uh, place down water source blocks speed okay and we want a sea pickle i'm going to put the sea pickle in the center now it will if you if you just put the one in it'll be fine the bone meal will bone meal it up to four eventually so i just stick the four in the center Okay, now here comes the fun part. Let's get this redstone going. So, we have a block <coughs> above these two blocks, and we're going to do that there as well, and there as well. Okay. Lay some redstone dust across the top. You don't, I don't think you actually have to put the redstone on top of this, but I do it just to make sure that mobs won't spawn there. Uh, 
Okay, so we have an observer block facing upward on either side. And redstone dust across so that when this observer block is activated, the pistons will quickly fire once. Squeak a bit. Not. And we want repeaters. We want one repeater set to three ticks of delay, one repeater set to one tick of delay. It doesn't matter which ones. And now we just need a clock. So. Uh, oh, right. So the, for the clock, we're going to have. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Squeak it. Okay, right. So we need an observer block facing this way with the signal going into the redstone here. To be a bit. Uh, oh, whoop. Ah, let's try this again. <laughs> this is why I pre-built all this other stuff. Because <laughs> I, I don't like editing videos. I'd rather just do the whole video. So we have one going there. And a repeater set to four ticks. This is a super fast repeater clock, so we want to slow it down. And that's what that repeater is for. Uh... And, what? Oh, <laughs> right, right, right. So the other observer block faces into that one, and now we have the clock. You see the light on the back flashing on and off. And you can see the dispensers will fire, and then the floors will shift. Mm -hmm. uh, if we just add one more block here and a lever to it, flipping the lever, moves the observer block and stops the observer clock. That's it. This is the farm. And now we take some bone meal. This is me. Excuse me. So let's just do one stack of bone meal. This should give us approximately three stacks or uh, usually slightly more than three stacks. I've had, once had less uh, about a little over three and a half stacks, but that's it. <clears throat> and this is extremely fast. Uh, it's good. I'm watching for the dispensed item to change into dispenser failed. And the little captions off to... Ah, uh, there we go. Dispenser failed. So that's everything. We turn it off. All of the bone meal's been used up. And yes, there we have slightly more than three stacks of sea pickles. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you come up with ways to make this better, more compact. Or uh, if you've used it on a server somewhere, I'd love to see screenshots of it. Take care. Happy crafting.